So you want to sell digital planners on Etsy or maybe your own shop, but you don't quite understand the process your customer goes through when they purchase from you, right? Or maybe you have purchased some things here and there, but you're curious to see what other people go through when they purchase um, this specific product, digital download from Etsy, like a digital planner. So I'm here to show you what that looks like. We're gonna go on Etsy and we're gonna go to a shop and see what all of that looks like. Hi, I am Yatsia. I design stationary templates for Canva that you can use to create your products to sell in your own shop, you know, like planners, stickers, and journals. And you can find me at onlinetemplateshop.com to find out more and see what I can offer to help you. Today we're going to jump in and purchase a digital planner on Etsy, but there's two ways you can sell a digital planner. Well, wait, before we get to that, when I say digital planner, this is what I mean. And let me get on good notes real quick. Um, this is what I mean. It's a type of planner that looks like a physical planner, but you can use it on your iPad or tablet on an app like GoodNotes, which is the one that I'm using right now. But you know, there's other apps, there's Note Shelf, there's Zoom Notes, um, that you can use both on Android and um, Apple. So I just happen to be here on GoodNotes. Um, so this is what I mean, and it's just a planner that is hyperlinked as well. As you can see, you can, you can um, click on the tabs and it'll take you to another place um, or another slide within that document. So that's what I mean when I say digital planner. So we are back on Etsy and let me show you, let me go back. This is my website. Let me click on shop. This is my shop. So I, I'm going to be showing you what it looks like both on Etsy and on a shop. So in my shop, for example, people will visit, they click on all products. Let's say they want to check out the Canva journal templates. They click on that and they go to the product description. Well, they see, you know, the description, um, a Q and a at the bottom, there's a video and there's some other images to show what they get. Um, and then they decide, yes, I want to purchase this. So they click on add to cart. It'll add it to the cart here on the right side and they can check out and purchase and they get a PDF um, with a link to go ahead and download and register to purchase. Um, so on Etsy, it kind of works the same way. And if you have purchased something from Etsy, you know exactly what I mean. Um, so we're going to look for a planner. I was thinking of purchasing something, you know, on the cheaper side, just, just for the video, um, something under $10. So I was looking around and the only thing that I did is went to Etsy. I put digital planner here at the top and this is the first page that popped up. I haven't uh, clicked on anything yet. I literally just scrolled down a bit to see, um, what were the options, but I haven't clicked on anything yet. I see quite a few that I like. Um, I'm feeling very minimalistic today. So I want something very, very simple on the cheaper side. Although this black one right here, it's calling my name. I am loving um, the all black look lately. So I might just purchase that one um, for personal use. But let me look around and see what catches my eye. So I'm on page two and I think I found one that I like this one right here because it looks very simple, very minimal. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Um, this person, this seller seems to be very popular. I can see why. Um, I'm gonna, let me see, I'm gonna go like this. Okay. Um, so let's see, yeah, let's um, buy now. I'm gonna click PayPal and I'll be right back. So I have purchased and they're very smart. They're showing me something else I had in my cart right here and they're, they're asking me to buy it. <laughs> I love that. But right now I'm not going to purchase this beautiful ring. I'll purchase probably later. So it says right here, thanks for your order and view your digital files now. So I'm going to click on that. And here we are. There's a message from the seller. Love it. And it looks like here there are four different downloads. 
Um, we have a user guide, 2020 planners PDF, the covers and stickers, I'm assuming is here. And then step-by-step -step guide for GoodNotes user. Oh, I love this because I purchased a template um, a while ago. Okay. So there's a video here for instructions. I love it. I love it. Um, awesome. Okay. So she offered some help here. Let me go back and there's a user guide. Let's see what she included as a user guide. Ooh, 16 pages. Great. Exactly. This is, this is great. I bought a template to create something like this. I might just link it down below because it is awesome and it's beautiful. Like it's very styled, the template that I purchased. Um, so I'll link it down below so you can check it out if you plan on selling digital planners. So you can create something like this user guide that this seller has so smartly included. Um, so here, 2020 planners. Now let's see if this is our planner. This is our PDF. Okay. Minimalist gray. So I guess you would link on here. It takes you to your Google Drive, which by the way, I also have a link, um, a video on how to achieve something like this uh, week. Let's click on this and see what pops up. Okay. Ooh, it's 491 pages. Okay. So we are going to have to download it. So give me, let me go ahead and download this. PDF and I have it right here. Let me open. Okay. So this is my PDF. It is huge. How do I make it a little bit smaller here? Awesome. Okay. So here it is now it is. Yeah, it is hyperlinked. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this PDF and put it on good notes. So for that, let me open good notes. Let me go back here i'm going to click here import and i want to go to my downloads and find is the 2020 gray so i'm assuming it's this one yeah it's this one so open and it'll import to good notes and remember i'm on my desktop but it looks pretty much the same on an ipad good notes look pretty much exactly the same so the process would be the same for your customer. So here we are. We have our planner. Now I'm going to click on here and it says 2020 at a glance. Let's click on that. And it brings us here. I love it. It's so simple. I love it. Then we click on July and it should take us to July. There we go. November takes us to November. Awesome. Now, what if I click on here? I just want to see all the pages. I'm scrolling on the left side. Oh, and this would be our daily pages. I love it. So your customer, when they are on GoodNotes, for example, they could either type on this or they could use an Apple Pencil or a stylus to actually write on this. So let's see what that looks like. Let's try the writing. So I'm selecting my pen over here. Um, let's make it, I don't know, let's make it this orangey color in a medium size. They have like their different sizes. This is, uh, um, the thicker one. This is medium and we have a much thinner one. Let me click on here. This fountain pen, ball pen. Let's try this ball pen. And this is thick, medium, small. Awesome. Let's use the thick one just for this. So let's say at 6 a.m. I wake up and mind you, I am using my um, mouse <laughs> to write this because again, I'm on my desktop, but it would be a lot easier on a, on a tablet, you know, and write with a stylus. So they could actually like write on this and they can draw, they can do whatever they want. Another option would be typing. So it gives you this T over here, which means a text box. So we click on that and then you can just click wherever you want to type. I'm going to type right here. So I click on that and I start typing. You can play around with the sizing um, of your font over here. Let me select that. And you can play with the sizing of your font, you know, bigger or smaller. These apps are awesome. They're very smart. 
and they let you um, play around and kind of treat it like, you know, a physical planner. So, and these are all hyperlink. Let me click again on this little pen over here and you can click on it and it is hyperlinked. It is um, absolutely wonderful. I love it. So this is what it looks like for your customer. How do they use it? What do they do for that? And this person has actually done a great job because they included some um, hyperlinks at the top. I'm assuming if you hit the little house, it'll take you to the very beginning. Awesome. You have meals and groceries. Let me go back. Awesome. This is beautiful. And you have this right here to plan. What would that be? Let me see. Like a note page. Yeah. This would be like a note page. And let's say that your customer wants to duplicate some pages, right? They want to get this page right here and maybe they just want to put it somewhere else. So what they could do is that they can actually duplicate this page and place it somewhere else. Let's say they want um, a grid page after, I don't know, after this, after their year at a glance, they can totally do that. This is another video where I'm going to show you how they do it because I need to get on my iPad. There's another video for that, but just just to kind of tell you what your customer can do they can duplicate pages they can remove pages they can add pages um, remember this is just a pdf and this is just an app that allows them to write type draw on a pdf something very cool that they can do let me go let me go back home and go to one of those daily pages um let's go to this weekly Okay. What is this? This is awesome. Oh, look at that. Finances and everything. Love it. So let's say, let, let's stay, um, stay here. And let's say you wanted to add an image. You can totally do that. You can go over here. And when you click here, it lets you add some images. So let me click, I'm going to click on this picture. This is a picture of my baby when he was very little. <laughs> and you can resize um, images inside of um good notes and i i believe note shelf lets you do that too zoom notes pretty much all of them and this is how digital stickers would work um, when you purchase digital stickers and you want to add them to your planner this is how it works you you would download those pngs that they're usually pngs or jpegs to your ipad or tablet and then you can add them with this image um, um icon here at the top and that's how you would you know make it look pretty by adding stickers um that's how you would do it um i can go into it a little bit more deeply in another video but for this one i think we're done i think all i wanted to show you is um what does your customer see on their end and how do they interact with what you have to offer to them so if this was helpful for you i hope you give me a like and you follow or subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment with any questions that you have any requests for other videos um i had fun with this one so i'll see you on the next one